What's up my peeps, time for a brand new episode of ZW Mayhem and in today's episode we've got the Wrestlemania 34 event or events, we got two of them and for the first time we've got a uh, brand specific event. So for this one right here, the 2 days, 5 hours, 23 minutes remaining Wrestlemania event, you can only use SmackDown Superstars. You see when the update came out yesterday, uh, something that a lot of us noticed is that for superstars, when you go and click on a superstar, you'll notice that it'll tell you the brand that superstar is on. So Roman Reigns, for instance, Raw. If you go to AJ Styles, SmackDown, and then when you go on Legends, you get this logo right here. So I wouldn't be surprised if we'll also get, you know, events that involve just Legends, where you could only use Legends and Raw and such. So with some events now requiring a superstar from a certain brand, it'll give more use to some superstars that otherwise maybe wouldn't be used as much. For instance, my weakest four stars, Woods and Sami Zayn. Don't use them much, but in this case right here, uh, when I can only use SmackDown superstars, they all of a sudden turn into some of my strongest superstars. Right after AJ Styles is Woods and then Sami Zayn, and of course, They've got an advantage over AJ Styles, and that's that they could go ahead and pull off a super move. So let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to go through the SmackDown one first for the simple fact that it doesn't last as long. So going to make sure that I finish that. And also, this one has a lot more matches. On Superstar difficulty, there's 21 opponents. And now uh, this isn't the 4 star or 3 star exclusive, but despite that, you're still getting some 4 star keys, which is pretty cool. 64 star keys, 600 roads to WrestleMania keys, 203 star keys, and an overdrive loot case. So for tonight's episode, since they're giving out overdrive loot cases for pretty much every single difficulty, this will be the first overdrive loot opening that I do. Really interested in seeing which overdrive I get and for how many stars. Hopefully four stars. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this superstar and for the team we're gonna go AJ Styles, Woods, Sami Zayn. Uh, let's see here, what's Sami and Woods' synergies? Uh, I could put Baron Corbin in there, 20% more health for all. With Woods, I could go ahead and put Kofi Kingston for 20% more health for all. Now with AJ Styles, I could go ahead and put in Chris Jericho if he's part of the SmackDown roster. You see, the last time we saw Chris Jericho, he did appear on the SmackDown brand, but it was only for a very short time. So is he considered a SmackDown? Yup, he is. He's right there. Okay. So, uh, should I go with Jericho, Baron Corbin? Let's see, maybe Jericho and Corbin. That way we get three synergies, 15% more critical hit damage, and same here, of course. And with Sami Zayn, with Baron Corbin in there, 20% more health for all. You know what? We're gonna go with this setup. Begin, let's go. Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, the first opponent, and for them, we're gonna go... Now, I don't think I'm gonna go with AJ Styles on the first one here. I think I'm gonna go... Um, Sammy, actually no, not Sammy, I'm gonna go Baron Corbin and Chris Jericho. Odd teaming, but whatever. Okay, so, right off the bat, gotta remember here, it's not the same as before. Hold on a second, alright. Now, I gotta focus because it's, you gotta focus a lot more now. Doing these live commentaries, by the way, this is live, so I'm talking as I'm playing this. This isn't footage that I've recorded before and then put commentary over it, so gotta make sure that I pay attention to when the opponent is going ahead. Oh, oh, see, I messed up right there, but I'll let it go. Just let him hit me with that. That's fine. I wasn't gonna go ahead and counter and risk him hitting me with his finisher. So, hold on a second. This is what I usually do now. So, I'll be blocking, and as soon as I see them going for a charge attack, I'll go ahead. Oh, see? I was too slow there. Really gotta focus now with the live commentaries before I could get away with not focusing as much. So, hold on a second. Let me focus. Okay, showboats. Whenever they showboat, whenever I see them going for a charge attack, that's when I attack. Oh, that rhymes. Okay. Alright, Kevin Owens is in. No, okay, that was my mistake there, German suplex, it's cool, we're letting Baron Corbin take most of the damage here, I'm not tagging in Jericho at the moment, and uh, yeah, I'm attacking too much while he's blocking, okay, come on, focus, Ah, oh, man, I'm too slow, why am I too slow now, okay guys, I might be quiet for the next couple seconds, 
Oh, hold on, he's too far anyways. Okay, hold on. Alright, showboats. That's when I attack him. One, two, oh. Could have went for that three and probably would have gotten that. Okay, there we go. Let's go for a strong attack just in case he gets a shot at kicking out. All right, he reverses, actually. We'll just reverse that back and uh, let's go, man. Deep six. Now, let's see if we get to get the win right away or if he's going to get a shot at kicking out. He might. All right, we got it right away. So Corbin wins that. I made sure not to tag in Jericho because I don't want two of my superstars to take in some damage. So I just let Corbin take most of the damage. Now we move on to Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon. Now Shane here is a three star version. In the other WrestleMania event, the one with like 21 matches, you've got four star Shane. So that pretty much confirms that not only are we getting a four star Shane McMahon, but also a three star version. I like this brand new arena. I like the fact that, you know, it's got a special stage just like in real life. All right, mess that up. Okay, 365 damage. Well, let's go. Oh, 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 he's going for the strikes. Hold on. Okay, focus, focus. See, it. man, I'm... Okay, one, okay. Shane McMahon is in. Shane is in. Although he doesn't have the gray hair. So th this might be, uh, you know, old school Shane. I don't know. Oh, why did I just... And I just reversed. Why did I do that? But hey, he didn't reverse, so cool. Let's go ahead and uh, damage him, but we're not gonna- Why am I messing up so much? I'm doing terrible right now. Okay, I just need to get some energy. Oh, crap. Okay, I'm in a bad position right now. Okay, now, now I'm cool. Okay, focus. Oh, see, I was too slow. So basically, what I'm trying to do is, instead of focusing on timing the block, I'm trying to go ahead and attack them right before they go for that charge attack, just stopping it that way. It doesn't get them stunned, but it does stop it. So, oh, I didn't mean to go for a charge attack there. Okay, alright, he is getting a lot of offense in, which is not good. Okay, now I've seen, um, we're gonna, we're gonna let him, oh no, sharpshooter, I didn't know it was gonna be a submission hold. Alright, let's try and get, up, get out of this as quick as possible here. Get out, get out. Don't want to tap. Good. Now, I'm going to tag in Corbin. Corbin, you can take the rest of the damage, whatever <laughs> Shane inflicts. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. All right, come on. Focus, focus. It is so much harder now when I'm trying to do these live commentaries with these new changes. Uh, yesterday in the uh, video, it was commentary after I had recorded the footage, so it was easier then. All right, so we'll come on. One, two, three. There we go. Now, yesterday when the update dropped, I made a poll in the Mayhem Facebook group asking you guys to rate the update on a scale of 1 to 10 just to see how the majority feels when it comes to the updates. Oh, he's going to go for something here. We're going to let him go for that Spine Buster critical hits. All right. So let me try and successfully, you know, stop his charge attack here for once uh, during this live commentary. Once again, I just let him hit that. It's cool, though. I had enough energy to just hit the Sunset Assault, so uh, it's all good. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Uh, I posted up a poll in the Mayhem Facebook group asking you guys to rate on a scale of 1 to 5 the update, the WrestleMania update, and what you thought of it. And uh, the result that got the most votes was actually 2 out of 5, surprisingly. And then number 2 was 4 out of 5, and uh, number 3, I think, was 3 out of 5. For some reason, whenever I made the post, I don't know what I was thinking, or I was probably tired or something like that. Instead of putting 1 out of 5 as an option, I put 0 out of 0, and I can't edit that anymore. But bottom line, it seems like a lot of people aren't happy with the changes. When it comes to me and, you know, these changes, they're tough to get used to. I mean, you see right now in this live commentary, it's tough to get used to it when you... You know, in the past, you used to just block a lot, and now you've got to time things a lot more. You got to time your blocks, or if you don't time your blocks, you go ahead and you got to time when you strike. As soon as you see them going for that charge attack, you got to be quick. So, I'm going to try and do it right here. Well, now he's showboating. Hold on a second. So, come on. Let me showboat again. So, I'm going to go for the attack. Are you going to... He's not going for any charge attack. All right, then. Let's go for a uh, strong attack and... Uh, Finish this off with a Fisherman Suplex. That was easy. 
Some of these matches are easy when the opponent goes ahead and showboats a lot, which happens a lot more frequently post-update. Prior to the update, they didn't showboat this much when they were this close to you. So, alright, I'm still trying to show you guys what I personally do. Now, I, man, okay, one, two, see, okay, hold on a second. He's got a bit too much energy for my liking right now, so I'm trying to gain some energy of my own. Okay, I'm good now. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. Come on. Oh, he's showboating. That's when I attack, but I'm waiting. There we go. That's what I do right there. So, whenever he goes for a charge attack, you got a short period of time to attack him, and that's what I do instead of trying to time the block. Unfortunately, like I said, with these live commentaries, it's pretty difficult to do the commentary at the same time, focus, and be quick enough and attack him right before he goes for that charge attack. You gotta get used to it, man. Now, as far as what I think of the brand new updates, um, I prefer the old method. I feel like they could have maybe made the game more difficult without making the charge attacks unblockable. And as somebody who records these videos, it is a lot harder to, you know, focus at the same time as doing them. Uh, so for me, I do prefer the old way, but at the same time, the old way was extremely easy. And, uh, and as you can see at the top, there are some visual glitches with the latest update. The cache, for some reason, is kind of blurry right now. By the way, in the comment section of the last video, somebody was like, Hey, you didn't notice that Austin has a brand new submission hold in the game, the, uh, Cobra Clutch? And I noticed it, but I noticed it too late. As soon as I went ahead and hit the finisher, oh, reversal, we're just gonna reverse that back. Anyways, as soon as I hit the finisher and said, of the special attack, I noticed for a split second, I was like, yo, wait a minute, did it say Cobra Clutch at the bottom? And it did. And so then after that match, I went through a bunch of other matches in the same event using Steve Austin, trying to get the Cobra Clutch back so I can use it and see how it looks in the game, but I didn't get it. Instead, I got a bunch of other uh, special moves instead. So I still have yet to see how the Cobra Clutch looks. And also somebody in the comments section also asked, what is the Cobra Clutch? It's a submission hold. You can check it out on uh, YouTube. It's basically a submission hold where they choke out the opponent with their own arm. So WrestleMania is tomorrow. Which match? Out of all the matches on the card, which one are you guys looking forward to the most? For me, it's definitely Cena versus The Undertaker. Yeah, I know, right now they're doing the whole, oh, you know, Taker didn't answer Cena's challenge. You know it's gonna happen. He's gonna show up at WrestleMania. The match is gonna happen. It's gonna be interesting to see how they set it up at Mania um, with Taker not answering the challenge on Raw and how they just immediately make a match but I'm sure it's gonna happen, and for me, Cena vs. Taker is the match I'm looking forward to the most. Oh no, he's got a shot at kicking out, let's try and get it right up. No! See, okay, um, I'm gonna need to get some energy right now. Okay, I'm good, I'm good. Now let's focus, focus. Hold on a second, focus, I mean, I'm gonna stay quiet. There we go, you saw that, guys? I attacked him right when I saw him go for a charge attack, and I stopped that instead of timing the block. Now, I just gotta go ahead and stop giving in. Oh, well, messed that up. And why? Okay, well, whatever. We're gonna go for the Styles Clash and finish it off with that. I was thinking of going AJ versus AJ, but now I'm thinking, let me go with Sami Zayn instead. And let's see the title offer. What's it gonna be this time? Tier 4? No Tier 4. Just Tier 3 uh, for 475? Nah, especially just one Tier 3. Understand that we're getting some good health packs here. But I'm not interested. Skip. And he's gonna go for... Wow, phenomenal forearm right off the bat to kick off the match. Okay, how much damage? 702, I can take that, I can take that. Let's go for the blue thunder bomb. I might get it, I might not. If I don't get it, then we might be in trouble because look at all the energy that AJ Styles has. So, let's 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 try and get this. Okay, I didn't get it. All right, let's let, let's get that energy up as quick as possible. So, oh, oh no, okay. I'm just gonna go for the Salus Clash. It's okay, it's okay. 702 damage, I'm still not in danger pin. Come on, AJ, we got the Luma Kick now. Now it's just time to hit that. Just find the perfect opportunity. I want I want him to go for a charge attack though. Go for a charge attack, man. Stop, stop showboating and go for a freaking charge attack so I can stop it with strike. 
No, stop, stop freaking showboat. Okay, you know what? He decided to showboat. I'm just going to go ahead and go for a charge attack. And I'm going to reverse it with the Huluwe Kick, not the Sunset Assault. Sunset Assault, it's not my favorite super move. It's maybe number three or number four. At the top of my list is that Ric Flair Dirty Tricks, the latest super move. All right, so I got 43 loot cases, but I will not open up these 43 loot cases right now. Right now, I'm just going to go ahead and open up my first Overdrive loot case. I'm saving the rest because I want to go ahead and open the other loot cases up once Shane McMahon pops up, once he's available in the loot cases, and once a uh, Badass Taker shows up. Although when it comes to Badass Taker, I'm pretty sure there's only a four-star version. First ever Overdrive loot opening. Let's hope it's a good one. Put that in there and uh, come on. I'm hoping for a four-star Overdrive for a class, of course, that I've already got. Can I make my Steve Austin even stronger or my Roman Reigns even stronger? Better yet, my Flair. So one, two. Actually, you know what? In the comments section, let me know which overdrive it's going to land on, which class, and how many stars. I'm going to give you guys five seconds to type it in. Five, four, three, two, one, tap. And oh, yo, oh, that's a three star. For some reason, I thought it was a four star. All right, it's a three star. It's better than, you know, two. Um, it's a wild card three star, though. I don't know who I would use this on. I mean, I've got, you know, three star Kane, but, um, nah, I don't think I'd use it on Kane. I wish it was a four star one, but like I said, three star, better than two star. And also what's cool is that a lot of the events active right now are giving you four star keys. So uh, we're getting closer to that four star loot case. Also got to go ahead and get back into versus mode here and uh, get a proper position uh, under 200. So I can get the 250, right? Yeah, 250 four star keys. Um, shouldn't be too far away from that. I mean, I'm right here. I mean, right now I'm between 201 and 400, so should be pretty easy to get back to the 26 to 200. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button down below. And with that said, I'm out, guys. See ya.